I want to all of you guys uh, to drill this point into your mind at the start of this video. Remember, you cannot be a happy person in this world if you are ungrateful. Nobody in this world wants to be around unhappy people. It's not uh, just a man's issue, it's not just a woman's issue. However, generally speaking, especially in the modern era, women are generally more ungrateful versus men. Some of you ladies might get triggered. And uh, I'll tell you guys why a woman have become uh, ungrateful. Way back in the day, let's say for example my mom, she's uh, from the city of uh, Chengdu. So let's say it was 70, 80 years ago, if you were just a normal Chinese girl born in the city of Chengdu, you're probably going to end up marrying some other Chinese guy from the city of Chengdu. And uh, you guys will both get married young and uh, you will have lots of children and uh, that's pretty much uh, your story. However, now in 2024, right, with the rise of internet, with the rise of social media, let's say some young Chinese girl from Chengdu, she can post a bikini photo, she can put it on social media and she can get uh, 500 likes. And let's say some rich guy from Belgium, he can see this photo, he can see, oh, nice solid 20-year-old uh, Chinese girl. He can slide into her DM, he can see that. So, I have a Lamborghini back in Brussels. Do you want to uh, fly to Belgium and check out my Lamborghini? So now uh, this guy, he can basically, you know, transfer a couple thousand dollars and uh, fly her uh, to Brussels. And uh, they can have an amazing weekend together. They can have a nice little summer fling. Ladies, just because uh, a man's willing to spend a lot of money on you, it does not mean that uh, he is going to commit to you. And also I think that's one of the major issues in modern society. With uh, so many men just choosing uh, to stay single, so many uh, men are choosing to not get married or have children. So the top tier, the top 1% men, they can stay in the dating market for as long as they can. Because it doesn't matter if a guy is 60, 70 or 80 years old, if he's in the top 1% of income earners, he can easily get a 20 year old virgin. So these top tier men, they have long, unlimited time in the dating market. And yes, why should they stick uh, to one woman? Why should they be faithful when they have all the options in the world? When they can choose anybody they want to have a summer fling, to have a situationship, to have a one night stand. So as a direct result of this, a very small percentage of men is dating all the women around the world. The rise of social media has made women extremely unhappy and extremely ungrateful. It's very different when a guy has social media versus a woman has social media. I'm talking about just a normal average guy of course. A guy can go to the beach you know, with a pair of shorts and post a photo at the beach. Do you think any woman's gonna respond? No. So I'm, I'm about to turn 32 years old. Okay, I have a question for all of you guys. You want to take a guess? How many times uh, in my life do you think a woman has ever complimented me? Whether it's in person or on social media? Zero. No woman has ever given me a single compliment. And unless I can make it to at least, you know, the top 5, the top 3, or the top 1% of the income earners, okay? No woman will ever look at me. That is the reality of being a normal dude in 2024. However, the average woman in 2024 gets complimented, gets chased by, gets hit on by guys all the time. Okay, whether it's in person or on social media. You have guys complimenting you, telling you how beautiful you look. You have guys buying you chocolates. You have guys are buying you flowers. The vast majority of men in this world, first time they will receive flowers in their life, it's when they're six feet under, when they're at uh, their funeral. That is the only time 80 to 90% of men will ever receive flowers from another person in their life. That's just the reality. And also one thing, the reason why uh, so many women un are uh, ungrateful is because uh, this is a biological fact. Women have way more negative emotions versus men. I know the political left uh, wants to tell you that uh, oh, gender is a social construct. It's all in your mind. That the fact that, that there can be no differences between men and women. Okay, that's how far our society has fallen. How could there not be any differences? I'm not talking about just physical. Gender lives in the brain. Men and women are completely wired differently. And men and women think differently. And this is also true that women just have 10 times, 20 times, 30 times more negative emotions versus men. And this is part of the reason why a lesbian relationships don't last. It, it is true that 70 to 80% of divorces are initiated by women. And 80 to 90% of relationships uh, are also ended by women. So what happens uh, when you put two women together? They have no chance. That is also why gay relationships and gay marriages uh, have the lowest uh, divorce rate. They have the lowest uh, breakup rate. So something interesting I've noticed uh, over the years, okay? So this trend is called moody versus non-moody. 
generally speaking, okay, this is not always the case, the woman is the moodier one. What do I mean by moodier? It means that uh, this person generally craves chaos. So you can look up the very studies. On average, over the course of a single day, a woman on average will speak 14,000 words versus a man will speak roughly 7,000 words. I know this better than anybody else I mentioned before. Almost every single person in my family has been divorced. You want to know something that's interesting? I know for sure there has been over 30 divorces in my family at least. There could be 40 or 50. Every single divorce was initiated by the female side. I understand that's not always the case, but uh, that is the fact for my family. Every single divorce with my mom, with my sister, with my cousins, with my aunts, it was all initiated by the female side of my family. And do you guys want to know why it is a death sentence for children to be raised by a single mother? Because generally, when you're raised by a single father after a divorce, yes, the guy could have a lot of issues. Sure, he's unhappy, sure, he's depressed, but generally speaking, the guy will keep it to himself. However, when you're raised by a divorced single mother, she will complain about uh, her failed marriage and relationship nonstop. I'm talking about 12 hours, 16 hours, 18, 20 hours a day, every single day for the rest of her life. I know this firsthand. I heard it so many times from my mom, from my sister, from my aunts, from my cousins, and oftentimes has made me suicidal. I understand, you know, sometimes it just didn't work out. You know, it's unfortunate you got the worst, but sometimes you have to move on in life. But uh, women will bring up this topic over and over and over. And uh, it's not the same for men, trust me. I have seen so many divorces. I've seen so many toxic relationships. In fact, you know, my sister's a second ex-husband. He was forced to commit suicide. But uh, he was a man of uh, very few words. He never talked much. The one was doing all the complaining was always my sister. It was always my mom. Even if, let's say, uh, they've been divorced for 5, 10, 20 years now, they will still bring up uh, that one fight that they had, you know, 22 years ago that led to their divorce. And uh, something interesting I picked up. The moody person, even though they're moody, okay, they will never ever pair themselves up with another person that is also moody. Have you guys noticed? Generally speaking, that's the female side. Not always the case, I'm just saying generally speaking, okay? I I've had to sit there and listen to my mom complain and rant for you know, 12, 14, 16 hours. Many, many of these sessions, okay? I've had to listen to my sister, I've had to listen to my aunts, I've had to listen to my female cousins. However, they only want to talk all the time and uh, they only want you to listen. You're never allowed to say anything back. Have you guys uh, heard basically a friend or a family relative tell you about a situation that uh, they're complaining to you about? Then you realize at some point that they are the problem? However, you can't say anything because trust me, I've talked back to them before. I got Hiroshima, Nagasaki, Fukushima, and Chernobyl all at the same time. I'm talking about ionizing radiation running throughout my body. Listen, when you're dealing with a person that is moody, that wants to talk, wants to complain, you just have to take it in. Do not say anything because if you say anything back, you will get hydrogen bomb blasted right to your face. Okay, I, I've warned all of you guys, okay? I'm serious, okay? Th think about, you know, all the people you know in your life. Think about all the people who are in relationships, all the people who are married, all the people who are divorced, the best friends. Have you noticed, uh, you know, there's a rising trend on social media. We're talking about uh, these crazy Karens, right? You'll never see two Karens together at the same time. Either that Karen's alone or they have a quiet friend that never ever talks because that Karen loves to complain to the person that's quiet and never ever talks. Think about it. Have you ever seen uh, two Karens that are best friends who are together all the time? You never ever see that. A moody person will never ever pair up with a person that's also moody. The only way for a relationship or marriage to work is that that moody person has to be controlled by a person that's not moody. And generally speaking, it is the man that has to tame the woman. And uh, sometimes, guys, if you find a woman that is not moody, that doesn't like to talk, that prefers peace, you have to do everything you can to get that woman to fall in love with you. That is the woman that uh, you need to wife up. Because uh, these women are true gems nowadays and uh, they're extremely, extremely rare. Really, really think about this point. And uh, the reason why I keep bringing up the topic of why you have to be grateful. Have you guys ever seen a happy feminist? Because uh, I have never ever seen that. Have you guys uh, seen uh, the people in the 2S LGBTQ NAI++ community? Do you guys think uh, any of them are happy? Because uh, every single one of them, every time I see uh, these people, they're always extremely pissed off. The people who are, you know, always uh, protesting for social justice or about uh, climate change, 
about uh, BLM, okay? Every single one of them is extremely pissed off all the time. It is extremely difficult to live your life that way. Now think about uh, the craziest people throughout history. Think about uh, Mussolini. Think about uh, Joseph Stalin. Think about uh, Adolf Hitler. Do you guys think uh, any of those guys were happy? Do you guys think any of those guys were grateful? Absolutely not. They were all uh, completely batshit insane. If you want to be happy and uh, if you want to be a good person, then you have to start by learning how to be grateful. Okay, it could be the simplest things in life. For example, from now on, every time I go to the bathroom, in fact, I, I do this uh, not all the time, but sometimes, every time I go to the bathroom, I'm always grateful for the fact that uh, every hole that should have opened, opened. And every single hole on my body that should have stayed closed, stayed closed. And yes, that is something you should be extremely grateful for. Because imagine this guys, you finally found the courage to ask uh, your crush out, right? You're on this date with your dream girl, she's absolutely gorgeous. She has the most charming personality and uh, you're totally falling in love with her and you guys are totally vibing at the restaurant. Then uh, halfway through your dinner, you said, okay, I'm just going to use the restroom quickly. And uh, while you're at the urinal, you have an accidental uh, shirt. No, seriously, imagine that. The consequences are devastating. This is why I understand, you know, it's difficult uh, to be grateful sometimes. You know, sometimes uh, shit happens in life. Even something as simple as going to the bathroom. Be grateful that uh, every hole that uh, should have opened, opened. And every hole that should have stayed closed, closed. I will see you guys this weekend. <laughs>